Oh, so yeah, so I appreciate uh, being up here again, especially speaking to a uh, black community control of the police. Uh, point three of the uh, national black political agenda, um, 19 point agenda is uh, black community control of the police. Um, and, and, and when we talk about what we can take out into the world with us, we have to understand that the national black political agenda uh, places our movement on the offensive. Right, not simply uh, the, the 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 defensive. Um, uh, the national black political agenda was something that was won uh, amongst the masses of, of the people all around the United States, um, and that's why black control of, of the police is so uh, important uh, because uh, you know we've heard it today. You know the 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 police not going to stop killing Africans, uh, especially as the um, crisis of imperialism advances the way through which they have tried to shore up themselves over the over the centuries is through increased violence against Africans. We know that. Um, uh, so, but uh, if we are, we need to arm our people with the democratic demand of black community control of the police. Black community control is black power. Right. Uh, so it says we demand the withdrawal of all domestic military occupation forces from black communities. The democratic the, this democratic demand assumes the ability of black people to mobilize for our own security and to redefine the role of the police so that it no longer functions as an agency imposed on us from the outside. And this is absolutely important. So we're talking about preparing to govern. Uh, we're talking about taking up all the democratic space as possible. We're talking about as we take up that democratic space, it exposes um, uh, uh, the uh, colonialism for what it is. Um, uh, and, and, and that's important. But uh, at this moment, it's also important to note that the immediate response to uh, the FBI raids on the African People's Socialist Party uh, uh, this this colonial assault, these uh, colonial trials on the trumped up bogus charges, uh, should the response should be should have been by the masses of African people all throughout the United States, all throughout the world, black community control of the police, right? Uh, but what that does is that underscores the necessity for us to go out there and make it a demand to place this into the hands of African people. Uh, uh, we have uh, the the goal is to uh, place this into the hands of African people by building uh, local uh, working groups by by uh, people who you know uh, who can go and plaster the cities uh, with posters, with signs, um, uh, with know your rights cards, uh, and things like that. So 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 this year uh, we have um, done uh, some work to build around uh, Black community controlled police. Um, uh, uh, we have the ability to, uh, uh, we are, um, well, the goal of the working group is to um, uh, hold people's law schools in which we uh, hold Know Your Rights trainings. Um, we have a, a, a resolution uh, that is readily available to be um, taken to a local city governments. Um, the goal is to organize the families and organize people who are um, uh, wrongfully uh, convicted, wrongfully arrested, and things to that extent. Um, uh, as a part of this, we've had discussion of of, of building um, Black people's courts working groups. Uh, now, now the role of these Black people's courts working groups uh, would be to um, simultaneously uh, uh, place the African community on the offense against uh, um, uh, the the the, the cont uh, colonial containment of the African community by uh, uh, police forces, but also to uh, um, uh, engender African people uh, to solve their own problems. Um, I, I think that that is, um, that, that is uh, uh, important for us to uh, underscore. 
uh, when we when we speak of this. Uh, this year, uh, May of last year, April and May of last year, actually uh, uh, following the Electoral Campaign School, um, uh, uh, we were able to, through the International People's Democratic Uhuru Movement, organize uh, a series of hearings around the question of uh, police containment and uh, and and also uh, 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 criminal, pro you know, political prosecutions and things like that um, of the Uhura movement. So uh, we participated in something called the United Nations International Independent uh, Expert Mechanism to Advance Racial Justice and Equality. Um, uh, in short, uh, referred to in, in the context of law enforcement. And in short, that's referred to as Imler. E M L E R. Um, uh, so uh, from April 24th to May 5th, 2023, uh, the Imler was organized to was organized following uh, the George Floyd uprisings. Uh, it, uh, the express purpose of Imler was to visit uh, to gain firsthand experience uh, of the systematic racism as it caused. Uh, uh, in the U.S. Now, Imler had visited six cities. Uh, they visited Washington, D.C., Atlanta, Los Angeles, Chicago, uh, and New York City and Minneapolis. Uh, Imler met with community grassroots organizations that they call civil society organizations, um, as well as uh, elected officials or something uh, like that. And Pedem had the um, uh, 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 ability to organize two separate panels, so in Cal in California in Los Angeles, we organized a panel around uh, mass imprisonment of African people and the conditions uh, in the jails. Uh, we on on April thirtieth, um, uh, the very next day in Chicago, uh, one of our members, uh, Kabula, uh, testified uh, in front of this panel on the FBI attacks against the Ahura movement, in July from July twenty second. Um, uh, 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 we also submitted um, uh, two reports. We submitted a report uh, to Imler. We also submitted uh, a report on the attacks to um, uh, the permanent forum on people of African descent, uh, which is being held in Geneva next week. Now, the important thing about this is, is, is that we don't expect, of course, the United Nations to uh, come and intervene or anything like that. But, 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 but it does place um, this into uh, the historical uh, record. But what we have to do, what we have to do is turn this into um, uh, a public campaign. Uh, that could include um, uh, even creating a new uh, propaganda that's needed um, uh, for Black community uh, control of the police. Um, uh, 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 um, you can go to the Impedum website, uh, impedum.bigcartel.com, and purchase Black Community Control of Police t-shirts uh, as well. Um, and uh, as well, uh, we have Know Your Rights cards, Know Your Rights trainings, and other uh, petitioning um, uh, uh, to be done. Uh, the truth is that uh, it's a it's a it's it's a democratic demand, but it's also a universal demand, which overlaps into so much of the work that the Black is Back Coalition uh, is doing. That um, this is the time uh, for us to uh, really expand the work of the uh, 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 Black Control and Police Working Group. So, for inf information on how to get involved with the Black Community Control and Police Working Group, you're gonna e email us directly at info at impdum.org. All right, who everybody? Thank you.